Hey everyone, I'm Rose Maran, I'm the Executive Director of Southern Tablelands Arts and I'm coming to you today from Mentor Gallery on Bong Bong Street in Barrel um, within the SDA Paparazzi The Captured Moment exhibition that uh, me and my wonderful colleague Giselle Newbury have just finished hanging here in the gallery today. So the exhibition is the culmination of the Media Associates project that we've been working on for months what it's done is it's bring, brought together a whole team of amateur and some very quite professional uh, for photographic enthusiasts who are now the STA paparazzi. So you'll start seeing them out and about covering the events that happen all across our region. So we've selected a number of uh, the images that the group have captured and um, we're going to just do a little bit of a curatorial floor talk around the exhibition now. So follow me. So the exhibition is broken up into three different themes or, thre or threads. So we've got makers and places. So that's really the bread and butter of any good media associate. It's the people that we meet, the places that we go. So um, as part of the group coming together, we did a weekend training session with Hamish Tomei, who's an amazing, very well-established Australian photographer. And he taught the group all the tips and tricks of capturing that beautiful moment. So so we all went down to the shack at Robertson and we tried to capture some of the artists uh, hanging out in their studios and making work and that's what this section, this is Hamish to begin with here, uh, at the shack in Robertson. This is one of our wonderful media associates, Mandy McDonald, and she's from the Upper Lachlan area. She's a bit into colour and she's also into the Bauhaus so I think we'll see some geometric designs coming through from her in the coming years. Then we captured a whole heap of makers from the shack and thank you so much shack and all the wonderful artists there for helping us through. Some of them have a, a, a quite a lovely uh, camera presence. There's Giselle in the background there. This is Ashley who's one of the photographers who has his studio at the shack. The, one of the printmaking sisters and then, of course, one of the things Hamish taught the group was capturing the power of the panorama. And here we've got uh, the wonderful uh, Spud Lane Studios uh, out the back here with Rick standing, oh, sitting there in one of his uh, little palatial chairs. This is Bob Lenton, and you can see I love the way one of the, um, the paparazzi have actually framed him inside one of his canvases. It's sort of that really interesting people that take photographs of art and there's a whole heap of artistic choices that are involved. Here we've got one by Al Femster who's captured probably a very, very difficult sculpture to capture because it's got so much negative space. Al's a bit of a tall bloke and so he's been able to get it at an angle where the, the sculpture has been backed by that beautiful red carpet. Another beautiful panorama. Honestly, if you haven't been to uh, the shack at Robertson, it's a lovely place to go and um, uh, waste a few hours. Now, of course, when the SCA paparazzi came to us, most of them were really already interested in photography. And Mandy's already been out and about in her local area, capturing some of the musicians, performers and artists that actually contribute to festivals and out in their local community with the exhibitions that are on as well. This is Josie, one of the STA paparazzi, of course. Uh, it's that classic idea of when artists don't have other artists to capture, they do self-portraits or photograph each other. So there was a lot of uh, taking pictures of each other over the course of the weekend. Uh, now, I'm just trying to remember this woman's name because I think it was Ma Maggie. Um, and she's here in Crookwell at the Sherrill Streets celebration. Shay Collier, and um, uh, in her studio at the Shack. Now, one of our SDA pop paparazzi, uh, Bob Dalton, is also a little bit of a keen bird watcher. And look at this magnificent little fella that he's captured here in this beautiful tree. We thought this one was just gorgeous because it, our world is made up of all sorts of interesting places and spaces, but it's also full of things that we call in this section the spaces between. So this is all those sort of, you know when you sometimes you, you turn around and there's some beautiful 
composition, something unexpected, a little bit of a liminal space. Um, <coughs> things like you know, hands, things that you wouldn't necessarily think about taking a photo of. I love this one particularly, the old wet paint. These are ubiquitous moments that often get unnoticed in a photographic space. What's one of the privileges about visiting artists in their studios is you get to see the tools of their trade. Very different from the front of house kind of exhibition where everything looks super polished and beautiful. Look at this gorgeous little paint box here. Um, I think that's Shazen's, I'm not sure. Uh, here we've got Rick's fabulous little feather coat um, out at the back at Spud Lane Studios. Again, this sort of strange liminal moment looking through things. Who hasn't ever wanted to take this shot? Looking in the mirror and looking behind. So cute. Here we are. Josie's done it. Now, when we went away for the weekend, we stayed at the most exquisitely gorgeous place called the Optimum Experience, uh, which is in Wilds Meadow, I think if I got that right. Absolutely gorgeous there, and the people that run it are just, we, we had, they were a pleasure to deal with. We had such a great weekend. And look, with these palatial-like spaces for us to inhabit, this is the games room. Absolutely, it was a gorgeous place to be, and I think Hamish has captured it uh, in all its uh, glorious 70s and 80s glory there. These are the sorts of little frozen moments that often don't make it into exhibitions or that it takes the artist's eye to elevate to something that's really beautiful. This is a gorgeous kangaroo. This is two spots from uh, Penny Simmons's workshop at the Shack. Um, Penny has a really interesting practice where she has no carbon footprint, so she only uses natural materials. So um, she's a very interesting artist to watch, and does all these beautiful weavings, and I just really love that the, what the photographer's done here is think about the textures in the photograph, which is really important to her work. Not all artists work with paint. Look at this gorgeous little button box. Uh, a lifetime's collection of gorgeous things. Now, believe it or not, Optimum Experience don't just do uh, amateur enthusiast photographic workshop weekends. They actually have these amazing courses. Their bread and butter is to do all these extraordinary school workshops. Um, and so you look up into the trees and there's all sorts of interesting sort of obstacle courses and things. Um, it's a pretty special place actually. And of course, part of the group coming together was we had a beautiful fire and um, oh, there's more than a few bottles of wine in evidence there. So um, it was a lovely group experience and we really formed into um, a team that SDA are going to be able to share the images of for many years to come. That's the plan. If you haven't already been out to the Goulburn Steamworks Museum or the Steam Museum, they run great events there, and this was a recent one, the Makers and Designers Market. Now, it wasn't officially a steam park, park event, but the, um, uh, the venue is known as a steampunk venue, and so uh, there was still quite a lot of people in steampunk gorgeousness. And so these are the sorts of places that the STA will be capturing, because this is all the wonderful events that happen in our places and spaces. Now, I've forgotten the name of this band. 1920. 1920. So Alex, um, who was probably the most experienced photographer that joined the group, actually took this, this image of 1920 in action on stage. And just look at the sense of dramatic lighting. Like it's a really beautiful slice of what looks like a fun, fun time, a fun party, beautiful music. Now, a lot of the things that happen in the arts and cultural space happen because of amazing groups of people that come together as volunteers to hang exhibitions, to share their work, and this is the Wallandilly Arts Group, and so it's lovely that they're represented in this exhibition. Now, the other thing that happens in the arts and cultural space where memories are made is that so many things that we share together in small groups, in communities, happen behind closed doors. And so this is a beautiful Christmas lunch. And I love all the little clues in this 
photograph that actually let you know where to locate it in the calendar. We can see that they're all seniors. There's a little bit of a kind of a facilities look about it. So we can see that perhaps it's a seniors facility. There's so many things to decipher in this image um, as they're having this beautiful sharing of ritual together. So, gosh, that was a, a pretty quick run through. We really recommend you come in and have a look at the exhibition and help us by sh um, coming and following us on Instagram um, where we're going to share all the STO Paparazzi shots uh, as they, they feed them to us. If you have an event coming up, you can ask for an STA Paparazzi to cover your event. You never know, uh, we'd love to be able to share it over our socials and maybe in a future exhibition. So thanks very much for watching everyone and um, we hope to see you at an STA event soon.